up and unlike me too No roof on my top and my babe see through Hating on the pen don't stop, shit ain't gon' feed you I've been all on my grind, so why I need you Baby girl love my bob and all like me too This is a friendly reminder to drink your water and stay hydrated Hashtag stay hydrated guys, hashtag stay hydrated Hey guys, Harsh here and welcome back to Technolobe Now this is the Redmi Note 10 Pro Probably one of the best budget phones out there in 2021 like scratch that, the best budget phone out there in 2021 and it just got better because now I have installed Arrow OS on it. So Arrow OS is a custom ROM, it is based on Android 12 and works really well for the Redmi Note 10 Pro. I've been using this ROM for a couple of days now and I instantly thought that let's make a video about it because it is that good. So yeah, this video is going to be about Arrow OS on Redmi Note 10 Pro. Sit back, relax and have fun. Now Xiaomi phones have always been popular in the custom ROM development community. There are a lot of custom ROMs available for Xiaomi phones and that is a good thing. Also Xiaomi allows you to unlock the bootloader and install custom ROMs in the first place. So that is a great thing in itself. Now I have tried a bunch of custom custom ROMs on Redmi Note 10 Pro. Most of them were based on Android 11. Then I tried the Android 12 AOSP ROM which was good but not stable. And finally, I have landed on Arrow OS 12.0 based on Android 12 and works really well. You get all the stock features of Android 12. It's very minimal, clean, no bloatware whatsoever and the experience is top notch. So let's dive into Arrow OS on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. Alright, this is it. This is Arrow OS running on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. Now, first up, the fingerprint sensor is working over here absolutely fine. No issues with the fingerprint sensor whatsoever. If I unlock over here, it's getting unlocked very easily and no issues over there. That's a good sign. Now, as always, let's go to the settings and check the Android version. So settings, about phone, Android version. And as you can see, it's Android 12 out of the box. Let me quickly go to the Easter egg as well. We'll go to 12 o'clock. And here we go. This is stock Android 12 fresh out of the oven and I really like Android 12. Like Google has done a very good job this time around and they've definitely beat Apple in terms of the aesthetic of Android 12. Now if I go to the home screen over here, you can see that the new widgets and the new icons are also there and the new notifications are also present over here. I really like how the notifications are segregated. So Instagram is here, then there is Spotify, then there is YouTube, then there is Twitter. Everything is properly segregated and even the quick toggles now are better, bigger, rounder and I really like them. Now all the Android 12 features are available over here. First up is the wallpaper changing feature, basically material U. So let's go ahead and quickly change the wallpaper. I'm going to choose this one over here. Let me quickly go ahead and set it up. And here we go. The wallpaper has been changed. And as you can see, all the icons and the quick settings color have also been changed over here to blue, which is matching to the wallpaper. I really like the theming engine over here in Android 12. Now let me quickly go ahead and change this widget as well. So if I click on the small edit icon over here, I can change the widget. You get a couple of options and I'm going to go with this one this one looks really interesting and the widget has been changed so this way you can customize android 12 in whatever way you want and if you don't want these themed icons you can change that as well you have to go into settings wallpaper and style and here you can just you know switch off theme icons and when you go back to home screen you will get the regular icons but i do like the themed icons so i'm just going to quickly go back to that now this rom has some device specific settings as well so if i go to settings and scroll down to system device specific settings here you can see we have an option for higher refresh rate so this phone does come with a 120 hertz refresh rate panel and if i go over here it's already set to 120 hertz so by default you will get 120 hertz but if you want to push it back to 60 hertz or if you want it to vary between 60 and 120 then you can do that as well. Apart from that, you also get the option of DC dimming. This is a very good option and it should be present and you do get that with this ROM. Finally, there is a direct sound enhancer. Basically, this will enable hi-fi audio from the headphone jack and if you have high-end headphones, then you can use them with the Redmi Note 10 Pro. Apart from that, you also get the new privacy dashboard over here. So if you go to privacy dashboard, you can see which application is using which permission in the past 24 hours, location, camera, microphone, whatever it is, you can see it over here. You'll also get small indicators in the top right corner. So if I go to camera over here and quickly, you know, switch on the camera, yes, the green dot right over here indicates that your camera is in use. And similarly, you will get other dots for your microphone and also for your location. This becomes a very handy feature and you will know which app is using which permission. Now, as far as the stability of this ROM goes, I'm going to say it's a very stable ROM. I did not notice any hiccups whatsoever. It's a very smooth experience and I have been loving it. In fact, I'm planning to daily drive this ROM. It's that good. I have no issues with the stability of this ROM. So yeah, basically this is Arrow OS on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. Now for the camera application, I've installed Google camera on this smartphone. I've already made a video 
video about that and if you want to watch that i'll make sure to drop a link to it in the description box below now, as far as the battery life of this rom goes i'm gonna say the battery life is good enough it's not the best out there like it's not as good as me ui but the battery life is good enough it's not very bad either it's good enough and i'm pretty sure that the developer will push out updates and then it will get even better now coming to the common questions do banking apps work on this rom yes banking apps do work on this rom and whether or not you should use banking apps on a custom rom is completely your choice apart from that everything else is working on this rom speakers are working the fingerprint sensor is working front camera back camera all the sensors are working and that is a good sign Sometimes custom ROMs have some bugs here and there. This ROM also has some bugs, but not major bugs. They're minor bugs and that's completely okay. It is a stable experience. Now coming to the part of how to install this ROM on your Redmi Note 10 Pro. Before you do that, you will require an unlocked bootloader and a custom recovery installed. If you don't know how to do these things, then don't worry, I've got you covered. I have an article on my website which addresses these questions how to unlock the bootloader and install a custom recovery on any Xiaomi smartphone. I will drop a link to it in the description box below. Don't forget to check it out and you will be sorted. Now, once you have an unlocked bootloader and a custom recovery installed, you just need to flash one zip file and you will be good to go. Make sure to back up all of your data because your data will be wiped. So please back up your data. Once you flash the zip file, you will boot into ArrowOS and then you can enjoy all the Android 12 features. Stock Android 12, no bloatware, no ads, nothing whatsoever, a very minimal and clean experience. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This was ArrowOS on Redmi Note 10 Pro. You guys let me know about this video in the comment section down below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Whatever it is, please let me know about that in the comments down below. Also, if you like this content, go ahead that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel because it would mean the world to me. My name is Harsh Punjabi and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.